So I was on a plane yesterday, and when I was on the plane, uh, the guy sitting next to me leaned over and said, hey, is that a Bluetooth controller that you're playing with? And I said, why, yes it is. And he said, I gotta get me one of those. And boom, the idea snapped into my head. A quick product review on this my GT Bluetooth controller that's intended for phones. We're gonna do it right now. Welcome back guys. So if this is your first time coming to one of the Balancing Act Chronicles product review, welcome. You'll notice they're pretty quick, they're pretty down and dirty, they're not too technical in terms of specs. It's is it worth the price that you pay for it? So this my GT Bluetooth controller looks like an Xbox One controller. It is Bluetooth, it is wireless, and this one's already outside of the box, but I do have a second one that I just bought um, that I will unbox for you here in a second so you can see how it works. Now, one of the cool things about this is you can connect it to an Android, a Mac, or a PC. It has a Bluetooth connection for all of those, and what you see here in the middle, this allows you to open it up. There's more buttons here in the middle, in the middle, but you use this and you can actually put your phone in the middle. So this is what the guy on the airplane saw. He saw that my phone was sitting there in the middle and it was astounding to him. So uh, he said he was gonna get one, figured why not? Now I believe this goes for about a little under $25 on Amazon. Using the Vipon code that I had, I actually got it for about $11. So um, make sure if you haven't done so already that you're using Vipon uh, when you're buying some of these items. And of course, I'm gonna link this down below so you can do that as well. Now let's get to the unboxing so you can see what it comes with. All right guys, so this is the new one that I just bought. Uh, same box, it's by MyGT. Uh, it was made in China. Now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you what's inside of it. Again, not too much in these boxes. So pamphlet explains um, how to connect the Bluetooth, all the different modes that you can use on this device. controllers in here. This one's black. I got this one black so I can differentiate the two of them uh, as this one's gonna travel with me on the road and the white one's gonna stay here uh, that I was using on my Android TV box. Now if you're on my Instagram page which is right there you'll know that this weekend we were playing some N64 ROMs on our Android TV box using the wireless controller so um, you can see that there but it also comes with a micro USB charger because this device actually has has a micro USB port and that's how you actually charge the Bluetooth battery, uh, the battery in here. So in terms of what it comes with, um, it has multi buttons, All right, so again it looks like an Xbox controller, got two triggers in the back, the two right and left buttons on the top, A, B, X, Y. Um, your normal buttons. You also have a home button. And with this home button, you would pair it to your device. So, uh, in a second here, we're gonna switch over the camera. I'm gonna put you over my shoulder. Yeah, I'm gonna literally put you over my shoulder here. You're gonna watch me use this on my device right now. Okay guys, so I figured it'd be much easier to just use the white controller that I have for now since it's already paired with my phone, right? So you'd open this up. Once you open it up, put your mobile device inside of it, right? Now, you turn on your phone, and don't, don't try to sneak a look at my pin there, guys. Uh, so, once you're in your phone, of course, I'm not showing you the exact process here, so I'll get a little closer so you can see it. You go into your Bluetooth settings, and you'll see, you'll search, your phone will search, and it'll find something called My GT Controller. Connect to that My GT controller, and once, actually, it's not even on, so I'd press the home button first. Now you see that blue light on the controller there. That means that the Bluetooth is now activated. So now I'll click for it to connect to the controller. You'll see there it says connected as input device. So now I can literally, yeah, that's me pressing the buttons there. I'm gonna try to bring it out here in the light for you. As I press the buttons, you'll see it's going up and down accordingly. So I just opened up something called Classic Boy. It's an app 
with multiple emulators and I really like it because you don't have to switch between all the emulators that you typically would have on your phone. So it has N64, PlayStation 1, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, NES, Sega, and Neo Geo. So if you have ROMs for those um, that you've acquired, of course, the right through the right channels, then you would just click on that. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and click on N64 for example purposes, because I've already set the controller here and I was playing it yesterday on the plane. So you'd select the game and now I have my games uh, in a specific folder. So you'd go to that folder, click N64. Now you see I have some ROMs already in there. Now I set this up yesterday for me to play uh, WrestleMania 2000, it's one of my favorite N64 games, right? Now you'll go ahead and hit new game, right? The controller actually already knows the joystick. Uh, this app actually already has an on-screen remote. You can just click the back button, hide the overlay, it is now gone. And now using the controller, I will go ahead and play. So, press and start. Well, on second thought, you probably want to see the way that works. So you'd go to advanced. Um, you see that it says, uh, that might be a little hard to see there. But player one, uh, the joystick is on. And now I just need to set it up all over again. So the directional pad up, the directional pad down. Well, first I need to unmap these because um, now, now we're in business, guys. So that's all set. Now I'll go through the process of setting the rest of these items, and then we'll come back here once the game is on. Now you'll see that it says resume there on the screen and you, to resume the app, and then there's a red little padlock on it. The reason why is this is the free version of the app, and if you want the resume feature, you're going to have to pay, I believe, $3.99 for the app. And I think it's worth it if you're a person who likes the full version of apps. Now, me personally, I don't think it's that important. So I just hit new game. Again, it's going to start it all over again. I'll hide the overlay. I'll press start. And now, let's see here. I can select. Um, and I believe I had a, a road to WrestleMania already set up. So we're going to go ahead and load it. Uh, it's slot one. Um, wait, what happened there? Ah, so I can only load in the full version. So it looks like I'm gonna have to pay for it too. But just in case, we'll, we'll, we'll just start an exhibition here. Uh, let's do a three-way match. Let's do it at King of the Ring. Uh, yep, one versus CPU. Make it a non-title match. For all the wrestling fans, why not? Little Steve Austin, Rock, Undertaker. And let's get this match started, guys. So, you can see it's really responsive, the controller, and I'm skipping through this so we can get right to work. Uh, again, this isn't the perfect Nintendo 64 controller, but you're gonna see, I can go to work immediately. Rock's in trouble right now. Oh, and the Undertaker just took me out. Some knee strikes. No, a little power driver action. Boom. Call the game. Again, guys, totally easy to use. Um, this is Nintendo 64, of course. Um, you can use it on all different kinds of emulators that are available on your Android or iPhones or PCs. All right, guys, we're back here now. So again, pretty straightforward. I've used it with my Android TV box, and I was about, uh, if you saw the, the video that I put on Instagram, we were both about maybe anywhere from five to six feet, and then my son was about 10 feet away from the Android TV box, and it was very responsive. So the Bluetooth signal on these are really good. You can actually pair it with multiple devices, so you don't have to constantly keep unpairing it with one device and then pair it back with the other. Um, and like I said, it works with the, for the Bluetooth on a PC as well, or a Mac, so you can use it for your computer as well. So is it worth the price? For $25, I would say it's pretty good. Um, it's worth getting, especially if you're a gamer on the go, especially if you do mobile gaming. Um, you know, with all the new games that they have now on mobile devices, having this joystick uh, and a responsive one for this price, I would say yes. 
When you add in the fact that with the Vipon code, it was only $11, as you saw, I bought two of them. I think it's absolutely worth it. So again, guys, uh, another thumbs up here from Balancing Act Product Review, Balancing Act Chronicles Product Reviews for this My GT Bluetooth controller. Uh, if you like this video and you found it helpful, or even if you're glad you found this video because it gives you a new option for your mobile gaming, give us a thumbs up and a like below. If you're not subscribed at any point throughout this video, there's probably right over, I don't know my left or my right here, but on the bottom right of your screen, um, there's a subscribe button that's been there this whole video. Just click on it, it's the Balancing Act Chronicles logo, you know, subscribe right to the channel. And once you do that, make sure you hit the little bell notification so you'll know when product reviews like these and others come about, as well as some of the other videos that we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Salute.